I've seen more than enough, so let's sit down and have a talk, okay? I'm really, really nervous. Of course, she's there to be judgmental, and I'm not used to that. Oh, but never, Lena. I know that you love your kids. You know, that, that's clear as day for me, and I can see that. And that heart shows very clearly. But I'm here to talk about the things that need to change. Adam controlling this house has to stop. You guys have lost control. Where is the authority in this house? Adam screams, he kicks, he is aggressive. Why have you not dealt with the aggression, Evelina? Why do you allow your son to pull your hair, mark your neck, and treat you the way he treats you? I don't know what to do. Inside, I'm screaming and, and crying, but I'm just, I'm probably just as attached to him as he is to me. You treat him like a baby, and he behaves like a baby. But he's not a baby. Yeah. He's two years old. I know. When he screams, he doesn't get told that that behavior is unacceptable. He gets placed onto your hip so that that screaming will stop. Let's move on to bedtime. Adam decides when he goes to bed and he decides when you go to bed. I mean, I can't just make him fall asleep at the time I want him to. I'd love that. If 8 o'clock was the time that he can fall asleep, then I would definitely have him in bed at 8 o'clock. So Adam, yet again, dictates when he's going to bed. And you go to put him in his crib, and he doesn't want to be in his crib. I mean, he's slept with me almost every single night. You've let this go on far too long. Now, Demetrius and Mia, lovely kids, but you know how much they're suffering. Mia wants her mummy's time. Yeah, I know. And so does Demetrius. Yeah, I know. And they need that. And that responsibility, you've both walked away from. You both need to come together equally. Robert. Your transition period is how long? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? You could have fooled me, Robert, because luck is going on all night. <laughs> you sit down in your chair, in your throne, television on, and you can see with your own eyes what's going on around you, but your butt does not get off from that seat and do anything. Why? I don't feel like it. It wouldn't harm you to put your hands in the sink and do a bit of washing up. It wouldn't harm you to discipline your own children. It wouldn't harm you to upgrade yourself a little bit and put yourself out there. I suppose I could try. Kind of a humbling thing. She blew my transition time out of the water, and I was getting away with it, and now she came and messed it up for me. And are you willing and committed to want change? Absolutely. I'm ready. Yeah? Great. OK, then. When Joe was telling me about how Adam is not my little baby, that almost made me cry. <sighs> to separate myself from that is just really hard for me to do. Hi, guys. Come around me. I've got something to show you all. Day one of teaching, I went into the house and gave the Gorbia family a new routine. The family <laughs> schedule. Right. Mum desperately needs help, and Dad needs to get more involved with this family. Dad, we're doing chore time over the weekend from 11 to 12.30, OK? And then between 1 and 3, Dad, I would like you to take all three children out. Does sound good? Mum, break time in that period. <laughs> that means no chores. It's you time, OK? I need Robert to realise how important his help is and, and how it can bring us together as well. Although, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself for two hours without my kids. I don't know what that's like. We'll see how well we can Robert. apply that. Oh, we're going to do this! We're going to do this! We're going to do this and change things here. <laughs> Every time Adam screams and shouts, Evelina picks him up. And that's only teaching Adam that if he screams and shouts, he gets his own way. Give him the choice. You can either sit in your chair and eat your sandwich, or you can go and play. 
I'm introducing a special technique called the off the hip technique to detach a clingy child from his mother. Adam, Adam, look at me, look at me. You can sit in your high chair and eat your sandwich or you can go and play. Which one do you want to do? When you your child is putting their hands up to want to be picked up, you come down to your child's level, you use eye contact and in a very calm voice, you ask your child to stop screaming. Come over here, come over here, Evelina. Tell him to stop crying yeah, and to stop, stop screaming. Crying. Stop crying, stop crying. Evelina, when he, start, when he starts clinging on to you, don't, don't you can't hold on to it, let him go. Okay. Give him that space, let him go. The reason why he kicks and screams and he holds on to you is because you latch on to. And he will do what he's doing now, which is sobbing, OK? Don't pick him up. Don't pick him up. Go down to his level and say to him, what do you want? Stop crying. I cannot hear you. What do you want? What do you want? Adam, get him off. <laughs> this is the bigger picture. You're now teaching him that if he wants to talk to you and he wants to cuddle you, then he's to stop screaming to do that. Adam was totally shocked at Mum's behaviour. Walk away. When it comes up to you again, you go back down, OK? You go back down. After 45 minutes, Adam started to calm down. Look at Mummy. Look at me. Peanut butter. Okay, and peanut butter, butter. yes. You want a peanut butter sandwich? Yeah. Ask me for one, no crying. Right, let him say that for a minute. Don't laugh, it's not funny. I'm just almost crying. I can't handle his face. It's heartbreaking. Like somebody just got my heart and just mashed it up and kind of threw it out. I was about to give up. Mommy wants to give you hugs and kisses, okay? But not when you're screaming. Not when you're crying. Okay? That's it. No more crying. No more crying. I don't like seeing him like that. It just breaks my heart. I was shocked that it actually worked. Adam needs to be weaned off of his mother. But Evelina needs to be weaned off of Adam, too. It was just best described as, as a kid going through an exorcism. And, and it worked. I, I was lost for words like I am now. Um, wow. <laughs> Robert put white tape over the routine. What's it? And he rubbed out dad chores. No, 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 no. Come on, Robert, get real. I am going to teach you how to fold clothes, how to put a hoover over the house, and how to go food shopping with Adam on your own. I think she punished me as a result and sent me to a supermarket. Might need to get some detergent. He's not liking this. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone to the supermarket, don't get me wrong, but never with Adam. A mum shouldn't be responsible for Adam the whole time. I love you. Bye. -bye. I taught Dad the involvement technique with Adam, and that is to make it fun. So this is where you want to use the involvement technique. Get him involved in the chore that you have to do. Give him some of the bags, let him put the vegetables or the fruit in, whatever you need. Give it to him, let him put it into the basket, get him involved so he doesn't start wandering off. Oh, Lord, this is crazy. Towards the middle of it, I had a little anxiety attack. Adam, come here. Some of the aisles were kind of small. Uh, Adam started to grab for things. <laughs> this is killing me. <laughs> well, shopping's going really well. Dad's definitely breaking a sweat, but Adam's behaving really well. Ah, lots of praise. Keep up the praise. Good boy. It took a little doing on my part. Thank you. I'm going to buy him a lollipop. That's for you, OK, for helping me. Can't say that it was fun, but I got through it. I think I can, I can pull it off. It wasn't that hard. I think you just pulled it off. <laughs> no, but I think you just did pull it off. You did well. All right. The next thing to tackle is keeping Adam out of mum and dad's bed. Three years of having him right next to me, and then now it's going to take a long time for me to get used to. In the evening, I sat mum and dad down and explained to them the sleep in your own bed technique. What we're establishing is two things. One, that Adam feels comfortable in his own crib. And the second is that if he comes out, 
but he goes straight back into his crib because that's where he sleeps. The technique is take Adam into his bedroom, keep everything nice and calm, read him a lovely bedtime story. He likes the story. And then kisses and cuddles and place him into his crib. Instead of walking out of the room, move a short distance away from the crib. Come away and sit down. Yeah. And sit down on the floor and put your head down. This way, Adam can be secure in knowing Mum is still in the room. Sit down right by the chest. <laughs> and put your head down. If then Adam got out from the crib, Mum was to place him straight back and say, it's bedtime. <laughs> put him back into the bed. It's all right, Evelina. It's all right, Evelina. Just put him straight back. Put him straight back. Put him straight back up, straight back up, straight into bed down. If he gets out of the bed again, say nothing, but place him straight back into the crib. Head down, you're doing a good. You're doing good. After a while, I just began to cry. How can I listen to my baby cry for me and not do anything about it? Head down. Head down. I told Evelina that no matter what, you have to keep putting him back into bed, no matter how many times it takes. It was very draining to have to get up and put him back, get up and put him back. But it emotionally, it hurt 100 times worse. He started to throw himself on mom, pull her hair, pinched her neck. It was physically hurting Evelina. I believe it took a little over an hour before he finally wore himself out. <laughs> when Joe and I left the room, Joe was excited. She was happy for me. I didn't feel good about myself. You have showed amazing strength, and you should be proud of that. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll probably feel a little bit more excited about it, but right now I'm just, just in pieces.